Do you ever feel like your Lightroom edited images just lack punch? In this Quick Tip Tuesday, I am showing you how to use Photoshop to add a little punch, a little pizzazz to your photos without spending hours in the program. Hey fellow photographers, I'm Nasa. I am a family and newborn photographer and a photography business coach. In these Quick Tip Tuesday videos, that is a tongue tire. We'll try it again. In these Quick Tip Tuesday videos, I'm giving you actionable tips that you can do right away in your business, and I'm doing it in less than five minutes because I know you're busy. Let's get to it. We are going to run a script action in Photoshop, and this is an amazing tool because what it will do is if you have a folder of images, it will open up each image, play your action on it, and then flatten it, save it in a new place if you want so that you're not overwriting that original image, but it just is so, it makes the process in my workflow so much easier. So the first step that you need to have is an actual Photoshop action that you like to use. Now I have one that I will use on every image. I am just gonna show you opening one image so that we can kind of look. So you need an action that is complete, that doesn't leave you with a bunch of layers in your image. So if I were to look at one of these actions, ones that I use the most, NLP, Nasally Photography, Complete Actions, and then I have one that's Clean, Full Color Edit, or Inda, door love portrait. Those are my two basic ones that I do. But if we look at them, this is playing an action and then it flattens it and then it plays just sharpen. So I'm playing like two actions that I've created and that's it. If we look at indoor love portrait, it's going to play portraiture on the image. It also is going to play another action. Uh, this one is Airy Indoor from the Elena S. Blair um, Indoor Love Family Love Collection. I created it so that it was at a lesser intensity. And so that is all set. And again, it ends with flattening the image and playing a final sharpen. So that is the first step that you need. You need to make sure you have an image that you could hit play on if you opened an image and then go from there. Since I do, we're going to close out of this. Um, I don't need to save any changes because I didn't actually do anything. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here in Photoshop and go file script. So one thing is if you wanna automate batch, that is really nice if you have a group of images open and you want to edit them all together like at the same time and not have them save it's really great when I'm testing an action or if I'm editing personal photos and I have like say five to ten images versus an entire gallery that I want to do automate batch is great for that but we're gonna do scripts image processor and here it opens up this folder or this um, pop-up here where you select the images this is where the photos are that you want the editing to take place. And so I'm gonna give an example with just personal photos because I don't have my client gallery uh, drive plugged in. We'll go to August and what I would do is I export my images as um, whatever they are, family name or the month, Lightroom, JPEG. So I know that they need that punch. And so I would select that folder. This is where all those images are and I click open. And then you can select to save it in the same location. It still puts it in a folder titled JPEG and puts it right inside that folder, which is a great option. I um, then select an image and I usually just put it within that client gallery, or in this case, I put it in my folder. You can see that I've already done it. If you already have one labeled JPEG, it will just add it to it. And so you click open and then I leave all these things here. You can mess with your file settings, how you want it to look um, and whatnot. And then I just go down to the actions and notice that this was the action that I was on. So it is here. Um, this is what I ran last, but you can select from all of your actions. You can see them right here. Um, and then you can select what you want to do. And then you just click run. I'm not going to do that right here because I've already done it. And just to kind of show you, it then saves it into this folder, as you see, called JPEG, and they're all here while these photos are still untouched as I exported them from Lightroom, which is great. I then later can delete that, which I usually do to save myself space. But if I'm like, oh my gosh, I ran the wrong action or I don't like how it looks, it's easy. And this is an action that I just hit play and then walk away, go get coffee, go hang out with the kids, do something, and that is it. So that is your quick tip Tuesday. I hope that you start using Photoshop to add that little punch that you have been wishing you had, but that you didn't want to spend the time 
If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And if you have something you would love to see as a quick tip Tuesday, leave a note or a message in the comments and I will make a video about it next time.